Young Learners HQ. Hello, Young Learners. Today's story is based on Joseph Jacob's version of The Three Little Pigs. The Three Little Pigs set out to build their own houses and seek their fortune. Each pig chose a different material for their house, but they soon discovered that a big bad wolf was determined to huff and puff and blow their houses down. Join the three little pigs on their adventure as they learn the importance of hard work and clever thinking. Once upon a time, there was an old mother pig who had three little pigs. She didn't have enough food to keep them all, so she sent them out to seek their fortune. My dear little pigs, it's time for you to go out into the world and build your own houses. The first little pig met a man with a bundle of straw. Please, kind man, can I have that straw to build a house? Of course, little pig. Here you go. The first little pig built his house with the straw. Soon, a big bad wolf came along and knocked at the door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The wolf huffed and puffed and blew the straw house down. The first little pig ran away to his brother's house. The second little pig met a man with a bundle of sticks. Please, kind man, can I have those sticks to build a house? Certainly, little pig. Here you go. The second little pig built his house with the sticks. Then along came the wolf. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The wolf huffed and puffed and blew the stick house down. The two little pigs ran away to their brother's house. The third little pig met a man with a load of bricks. Please, kind man, can I have those bricks to build a house? Of course, little pig. Here you go. The third little pig built his house with the bricks. Soon, the wolf came along. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, by the hair on my chinny, chin chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. The wolf huffed and puffed, but he couldn't blow the brick house down. He decided to try another trick. Little pig, I know where there is a nice field of turnips. Where? In Mr. Smith's home field. If you will be ready tomorrow morning, I will call for you, and we will go together and get some for dinner. Very well. What time do you mean to go? At six o'clock. The little pig got up at five and got the turnips before the wolf came. Little pig, are you ready? Ready. I have been and come back again and got a nice pot full for dinner. The wolf felt very angry but thought he would try another trick. Little pig, I know where there is a nice apple tree. Where? Down at Merry Garden. If you will not deceive me, I will come for you at five o'clock tomorrow and get some apples. The little pig got up at four o'clock and went off for the apples. Just as he was coming down from the tree, he saw the wolf coming. Little pig, what? Are you here before me? Are they nice apples? Yes, very. I will throw you down one. The little pig threw the apple so far that while the wolf was gone to pick it up, he jumped down and ran home. The next day, the wolf came again. Little pig, there is a fair at Shanklin this afternoon. Will you go? Oh yes, I will go. What time shall you be ready? At three. The little pig went up before the time and bought a butter churn. On his way home, he saw the wolf coming. He got into the churn to hide and it rolled down the hill with him inside, frightening the wolf. Ah, what is this great round thing? The wolf ran home without going to the fair. He went to the little pig's house and told him how frightened he had been. I was frightened by a great round thing that came down the hill past me. Ha, huh? I frightened you then. I had been to the fair and bought a butter churn. And when I saw you, I got into it and rolled down the hill. 
The wolf was very angry and declared he would eat up the little pig. He decided to come down the chimney. Quick, let's light a fire in the fireplace. The three little pigs lit a roaring fire. The wolf climbed down the chimney and fell into the fire. Ouch, this is too hot. The wolf ran away and was never seen again. The three little pigs lived happily ever after in their strong brick house. Hooray! Hooray! We are safe and sound! And so, the three little pigs learned that hard work and clever thinking pay off the end. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe.